Hello, good afternoon. I'm Salma Ahmed. I'm speaking from Abuja. I have a problem with the Kano government and NCDC in Kano. My son-in-law have been sick since on Monday. My daughter called me and told me it's high, high fever. I told her high fever and she told me it's typhoid. When she told me it's typhoid fever, I said, are you sure it's typhoid fever? Because this uh, typhoid fever, somebody will say it's typhoid fever. From there, he will be coughing. From coughing, he will be sneezing. Are you sure? She said, yes, they have given him drugs, and they are at home now. They are taking the drugs. I said, OK. On Tuesday, I called her. I said, how is he feeling? She said, he's getting better, little by little. He's getting better, little by little. I say, OK, so far he's getting better, no problem. Yesterday, around 3, 3 AM, she called me. She said he cannot talk again. No. His breathing is high, high. No. I said, so I've told you before, maybe this, this problem he's having is a COVID-19. It's COVID-19. If somebody is having fever, he cannot talk proper, and he's coughing. What do you expect? This is COVID-19. Please rush him to the hospital. Have you called uh, NCDC? She said, yes, they have been calling since yesterday night. That the people, uh, the phone, all the phone lines are not going through. They, 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 somebody gave them another number again. They have been calling the number. The number is ringing, and nobody is responding to that call. So I decided to call the ones in uh, the NCDC, in the ones in Abuja. When I called the ones in Abuja, they said they will get back to him. They will get back to me, that they will call the Kano branch now and tell them what is happening. They asked me where is he now. I said they have taken him to a, a private hospital named uh, International Hospital in Kano. They, when they took him to that International Hospital in Kano, they admitted him and put oxygen for him. After about one hour, another doctor came in and told them to go to Madan Aminu. Kano that is not responding to the to the oxygen. And I know it's not responding to that oxygen. It's just the way it's just a way for the doctor to drive them away from that hospital. And I don't blame him. So on getting to Aminu Kano Hospital, they put him on oxygen again. I called these people on NCDC again in Abuja. I asked them how far have the people started going because they have dropped them from that international uh, hospital that they have uh, now go to Malan Aminu Kano Hospital. That he say they will go there, they will go there. Uh -uh. If I, every 30, 30 minutes, I will be calling the NCDC here in, in Abuja because the ones in Kano are not responding. He will be telling me that they will soon go there, they will soon go there. When the thing was getting out of hand, I told this man, please tell me the truth. What is happening? Tell me what is happening. Before he now told me that the NCDC in Kano have been shut down. I said, why did you, you know that they have been shut down and you are just telling me they will soon go there, they will soon go there. Why did you continue playing with my intelligence? He said, sorry, madam. I said, okay. So I called it Ray, Ray Power, Ray Power Radio. I told them oh, I was live on Ray Power around 4 o'clock. I explained my complaint to them. My brother, in, my son-in-law died after two hours when he was admitted in Aminu Kanu. He died after two hours. So I'm holding the Kano government and the NDC, NCDC of Kano responsible for the death of my son-in-law. And now, what is paining me most now that my heart is broken into pieces is, what will happen to my children, my daughter, my her children, my grandchildren, what will happen to them? When there is no NCDC in Kano, what will happen to them? Please, I want people to come to my aid. I'm dying, I don't want, I'm an old woman. I don't want my children and my grandchildren to die in Kano. There is no NCDC in Kano. Please, people should come to my aid. Oh, they should come to my aid. Oh, they should come and help me. I'm dying. I'm dying. They should not allow my children in Kano to die. Please, they should help me. NCDC in Abuja, please take note. See to what you can do. 
um, SCT, SCT, SCT minister, please help me. Oh, I'm shouting to everybody, everybody. Embe, Embe, if you hear this one, please help me. Anybody that know how he can help me, let him help me so that, that they can go and test my children and the grandchildren. Please help me. That is all what I have to say. My, 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 my heart is broken into pieces. I'm an old woman. My age is 70 years old. I'm old. Please help me. The general public, please help me. If there is anything anybody can do, he should help me. Thank you, everybody.